Good morning and welcome to all for the family with Evangelist Moyo Antonia Eden. I bring you call today in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I have come to remind you that you are the one that will define yourself for the world and not what anyone says about you. I want you to be encouraged to know that no matter what anyone says about you outside the people around you, that it will not have any effect on you except you accept it. Except you give people the power to control you and to take absolute control of your life, to turn it around and to use it for their own easy purpose, then they will not have any authority over you. You may be aware that people are the same things about you. That because of jealousy or even reasons that you do not know, that they just keep on saying things about you, trying to discredit you before the world. You may be aware that the people doing those things are people that are very close to you. People you interact with every day. People you have helped. People that you are very interested in empowering and helping them to know what God has done for us. You love them because God has called you and told you to love everyone around you. You do good things for them, they keep coming to you to take things from you. You assist them, you do not send them away. You continue to help them because you are a child of God. And as soon as they receive the help from you, they go back and they continue to say things about you. You may know all of them that are doing this to you. You may not even know some that are doing it to you. And yet they are very close to you. Some are far from you. They've heard about what people say about you. They have not had the opportunity to even come close to you. To try you out for themselves. To find out if those things they are hearing are true. But yet, because they are people minded. People who allow people to make up their minds for them. They are paired on to the negative things or that we told them about you. These people we are not in the circumstances, in the situations. Yeah, those things took place. They did not see what happened, but they heard from the people who went out with the negative reports about you, and they are holding on to those reports, and they are using it against you. They are actually going out and testifying, giving a negative report about you to the people that have know you, people that want to know you or have any relationship with you, discouraging them and telling them things about you. You are aware of all of this happening. Perhaps you are in a situation where you meet these people every time. Perhaps you belong to the same church family. So on Sunday, you see them. Perhaps you walk in the same place with them. You see them every other day of the week, five days a week. Perhaps they live in your community. You see them at the grocery store. You see them when you go out. Perhaps they are even in your family. These are friends that you have. You come across them every time. And you have the same friends. So you always meet in the same community. They have destroyed you before everyone. They have said everything. You are aware of these things. Perhaps right now you are discouraged. That you don't know what to do about it. There are so many negative things that have been said about you around. People are holding on to those things. Some people are treating you. They are being hostile to you. Because of what they have. They have not given you a chance to prove yourself. For them to have a relationship with you, to even see if those things they have heard are true. To see if those things are things that just happen because of the circumstance that you find yourself in at that time. To even find out if those things are even in the first place things that you did. They didn't give you the opportunity to prove yourself. They have ganged up against you. Those that were close to you, they turned back from you because they are ashamed of being close to you because of the things they have heard. They are afraid of what people will do to them because they are your friend. They want to be your friend, they do not want to be your friend. You are in, you find yourself in that kind of a situation. I want you to know that you have the upper hand in anything that has to do with your life. That God has not given you to anyone, your life to anyone to manipulate, to control, and to put under their own authority. These are people that cannot do anything.
anything but insects. And I want to stop you from achieving what God has given to you. Their bitterness turns up from jealousy, from envy, from miles, from things that you cannot even explain. For their own insufficiency, insufficiency, their own inferiority complex. Because they are reduced when they see you around. They know what you have, what God has given to you. They know that when you come in, wherever they are, that people want to know you, they want to come to you because you have the Spirit of God in you. You have the thing in you that bring people that, that will bring people to you. They want to stop you from being who God wants you to be. Well, I want you to know that they do not have the right over your life except you allow them to. I want you to know that you cannot stop going to those places that you are supposed to go to. You cannot stop taking part in things that have to do with your community because of these people. They are negative people. That's all they have. That's what they do. They are slanderers. Busy body. They can't do anything for themselves. No good thing comes from their mouth about any comes out of from their mouth about any other person. They can't even say anything good about themselves because they do not see themselves. They are they are blinded in their jealousy, in their bitterness. That's the kind of people they are. They can't stop you, my sister. They can't stop you, my brother, from being who God has called you to be. If you come to a time that their negativity will stop, that in the eyes of the people around them, if those people have the Spirit of God in them, they will know that this is too much. We can no longer hear this nonsense about this person. We want to find out from ourselves who this person is. And that's how anyone that has the Spirit of God will do. But if they do not have the Spirit of God, then they move with the negative spirits controlling them. Let them be. Let them go. They cannot control you. You have your life. And you have everything that God has given to you. That when you come on stage, you redefine yourself to the world. You know what they have said. That thing will not hold you down. You know what made them to say the things that they said. You may not even know. But let me tell you today that you are the one that you have to define yourself before the world. That what you say about yourself is more than what anyone will say about you. The things that you do that people see. That will define you. Live according to the principles that you know. Hold on to the truth. Come out. Do not even give them any attention. Pretend that you have not heard anything they have said about you. Pretend that you are not aware that even the crowd knows about the things that they have said. That they have spread out that negative spirit against you. Trying to pull you down. The spirit of witchcraft. Through the mouth of what they have spoken concerning you. Concerning your destiny. Concerning you, you are. Trying to break you down. Pretend that you do not know. Look at them straight in their eyes and greet them and greet them. Embrace them with the love of God. Come on stage. Show yourself to the world. Show yourself to the people just the way you are. Prove yourself. If they've told the people that, oh, when she comes here, she's going to fight everybody, she's going to argue with everybody, she's going to do this, she's going to do that, that's what she does. Go there and be friendly. Prove yourself to be friendly. Prove yourself to be the child of God. Prove yourself to have the Spirit of God. Prove yourself to be someone that can work with people. Prove yourself to be all that person that God created you to be. And overturn all their negative utterances against you. Put them to shame. Hold them and put them where they belong. That you do not have the authority over me. I know what you have done. I know what you have said. But I am here to claim my glory. I am here to claim that which God has given to me. To live the life that God has given to me. You do not have the authority. You cannot come near. You do not have the gift in the gifts that God has given to me. The talent that I have. I have so much within me which God wants to use. And you cannot stop God from doing this work. Prove yourself friendly. Walk around the crowd. Greet them. Enjoy the, 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 the fellowship of the people. Enjoy the company. Prove them. Let them be ashamed of themselves. Let them leave that place closing their eyes and not knowing where to hide their shame. When the people there see us, look at this person they are saying this thing about. See how the person came and greeted us all. Even when we do not want to even interact with the person, the person came to us and greeted us all. The person was happy, enjoyed the place and left. Disgrace them. These wishes and wizards out there that think that they can use their mouth to bring people down. Disgrace them. Through the word of the mouth, they brought you down. Through your own actions, through your own deeds, and the word of your mouth, destroy and dismantle all their strongholds against your life. This is the time to move on. This is not the time to give your life to anyone to manipulate. Prove yourself to be friendly. Prove, prove yourself to be someone that has the love of God in you. Prove yourself to be someone that, that of value, that someone that people can come to, that people can listen to. 
People, someone that knows yourself. Let your confidence come forth. Let it show. Do not hide yourself because of anyone. Come outside and be the person that God has said you to be. Do not bow that head of yours because of anyone, because of what the person has said. What authority do they have to say those things about you? Have they examined their own lives? Have they seen where they came from? Are they able to change anything about their, themselves that they want to sit down and talk about you? And you want to give them the authority? Oh, I cannot go there because of what they say. Let them say what they say. Go there, enjoy yourself, bounce back, and go back, enjoy yourself. Live your life to the fullest. Do not give your life to anyone. I'm telling you today, receive it that this is the truth. That you have the power to redefine yourself. God gives us opportunities every time, new opportunities every time. Each time we sin against God, every day that we are awake, God refreshes us. The mercy of God will never fail. His shepherd's love will never fail. They will never sin. Every day he gives us opportunity. If our God has created us, relates with us in that way, who is man that can stand against the will of God in any of our lives? That we can't start carrying ourselves as sorrowing because of somebody and say, Oh, I cannot go there because they said this about me. They said, Let them say, let them say, let them say, let them say. They'll be tired of saying. It will, get a, it will get a time when they have nothing else to say. Especially when they see that what they are saying does not even touch your life, that you are moving on in the name of Jesus. For God is the glory and the lift up of our heads. No man can stand against the will of God in your life. You will define yourself before the world. Redefine yourself. You are aware of what they have said. That they have nothing good to do but to sit down and to gossip. Morning to night, that's what they do. Bring you one person, slaughtering the person. They bring another person, they slaughter the person. Did you hear? Did you see? Did you do that? That's what they do. People that do not achieve anything in this world. That's all they know. That's the business they have. To slaughter people. And yet they are not doing anything to improve themselves or to improve their communities. I said it. They want to go with the crowd, people that cannot make decisions on their own. People that are afraid of what people will do unto them. That if I talk to this person, I love this person, I see that this person is doing something good, they will not be my friend again, I'm afraid. Do you have anything, do you want to have any reason to be along among people that cannot make up their mind, that are unstable, that are not firm, that do not know what they are pursuing in life? Do you want to waste your time with such people? And you want those people to have control over your life for you to want to do or not do something because of what they think about you. Don't give anyone that authority over you in this world. For God has not given you to anyone to manipulate. They are working under the spirit of witchcraft because when they open their mouth to say those negative things, they are destroying the reputation of people. They are wishes and they are wizards. That's what they are. They know nothing better. But you are the child of God. You have to wake up and stand up and say, yes, I'm not going to bring myself down here because of what you are saying. You cannot control my life. That spirit of manipulation that you're trying to use to put negative things in the hearts of people that do not even know me, to tell them things, to destroy them and to destroy my reputation that I'm not going to give you the control. You can say whatever you're going to say. But when I come on stage, I redefine myself. Family and boldly standing on the word of God, on the word of truth, and showing myself to the world the way I am. And the world will receive me because I have the greatest testimony about me that I can give to the world. No other person can. Create me before the world. I come again because God dwells in me to show you who I am. And those that walk in the truth, we know that nobody defines the other person. That God has not given us that authority over anyone. The word of God said, each of us should examine ourselves. If what we do is good, that we should take delight in ourselves alone and not in any other. Self-examination, each one of us. If what I'm doing is good, let me rejoice in myself. I've not been given control to go examine the life of Mr. A and Mr. B and try to bring them down to or try to manipulate their lives. To be as I want them to be. I wasn't giving that control. Nobody was giving that control. Each one of you know that you define yourself when you come out before the world. You stand up with your head high. Because God is the glory and the lifter up of your head. He has given you freedom. He has given you everything to enjoy the life he has given to you. Do not give your life to anybody. Do not be burdened about what people say about you. Those things are irrelevant, my dear sisters and brothers. Live your life. 
Come out. Let the glory of God shine around you. Step out in style and be happy. Let them see the favor of God that surrounds you. Let them see what God is doing in you in this time and season of your life. Glorify God who has given you a new mindset, a new consciousness of his presence always in your situation. God who has made you a victor that you are able to do all things through him. That no man can stand against the will of God in your life. That you are the one that will show the world who you are. That you are the child of God. And that the Spirit of God dwells in you. And that you are an overcomer in everything you set your hands to do. That you overcome every plan of the enemy. That God has highly lifted up your head above your enemies. In the name of Jesus. And that you have the peace of God. Destroy everything they have set against you. Destroy it. Let your presence break them. Let your deeds break them. Let the words that come out from your mouth break it. Let shame be returned back to the tent of your, of your enemies that rose up against you. Let them find no place to hide. Let them be scattered when you appear. Because you are coming with the spirit of God, with the spirit of boldness, with the spirit of confidence. Your head highly lifted up. You pay them no attention. You move with the style that God has given to you to show yourself to the world for who you are. The child of the most high God. The child of God. The child of God that knows that self, that knows himself. The child of God that is productive in the things that set their hands to do. The child of God that knows that the spirit of God dwells inside of them. That man cannot take that which God has given to them in the name of Jesus. You know who you are in your God. Enjoy the goodness of God. Enjoy your family. Enjoy your friends. Enjoy your community. Learn to forgive. That's why the Father that have said all these things against you. Do not hold any grudge against them. That's what will destroy you when you hold any bitterness against anyone that has done anything against you. Forgive and forgive and forgive and forgive. Forgive and forgive and forgive. Don't pay them any attention. Forgive so that you can enjoy the goodness of God. You can receive mercy from God. So that you can receive what you need from God as you have that communion with God, that relationship, that the Spirit of God and Speak directly to you and you continue to be productive in your life. When there is sin in your life, you cannot hear from God, you cannot receive from God. You will not be able to do anything. You must forgive and forgive and even pray for them. The way the apostles did. They prayed for the people who persecuted them. Pray for them. Pray that God will give them their own cup and their lot. Something so full that they will have that you will not be the person that they will be talking about. They will have their own situations to deal with and not you. Pray that God should give them theirs. Let their eyes be taken out of, of you while you live the life that God has given to you and enjoy the peace of God, O oh child of God. Do you know who you are? Do you know what God has given to you? Enjoy. Celebrate the life God has given to you. Let them gossip. Ching, 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 ching. That's what they know. Ching, 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 ching. Did you hear this? Did you see that? Did you do that? What else comes out from the mouth of the idle one. Nothing. Nothing good. The spirit God has given them to re to produce, to reproduce things in this world, to be creative. They waste it. Did you see that? 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 Why are you the one that sees everything? Why don't you ask yourself? Have I seen myself? Have I really seen myself? Do I know what I have inside of me? Have I seen myself the way I am? Before I start seeing someone else, have I removed the log in my eye? Before I start saying to remove the spark in my brother's eyes, have I taken care of my own situation? Have I seen the family God has given to me? Have I taken the needs of my household? Have I done the things I'm supposed to do for myself? Am I minding my business? As the word of God said, I should mind my business. Why am I saying things up in everybody's life and, and I'm, I'm not seeing my own life? My life is unproductive. I'm standing in one place because I've allowed rubbish to come into my mind, to take control of the mind that God has given to me. I cannot look at things clearly. That's what happens to the person that just surrounds itself with everybody's matter. Do you hear this? Do you hear this? Do you hear this? They hide their own inferiority. inferiority. They have a strong inferiority complex where you cannot even see them to think about yourself. And yes, you are pointing fingers there and there and there and causing confusion everywhere like a witch. What, what should you do everywhere? You are not needed. Go take care of your own situation.
Be productive. Start to do something new. Enjoy your own life. Just as the other person is enjoying their life. Brothers and sisters, do not allow them to exclude you. Do not allow them to send you away from your community. Do not let them stop you from doing what God has given to you to do. You have the power to redefine yourself. You have the power to break whatever has been spoken over you. Open your mouth and destroy everything they have said. Be prayerful and believe that God is with you. That when you go out, the Spirit of God is going ahead of you to prepare the way for you. That you overcome by the blood of Jesus. And that in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that banner that you take before the world, that nothing can stand against the will of God in your life. Be focused. Those are distractions, the devices of the enemy. To distract you. To make you feel dejected and depressed. Let your rejection is in you right now. Let us be filled with the love of God. Receive power from God. And stand up firmly on the word of God and say, Yes, I overcome in the name of Jesus. I define myself before the world and no one else can do it. When I step on stage, on the stage, I come with the glory of God. Everything around me. Shows the goodness of my God to the world around me. I walk in confidence. Because I know that through my God I can do great things. I know that through my God I break every testimony. Every word of darkness. Every word that has been spoken against me and my destiny. I break it when I come and say in the name of Jesus. I do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I am who God says I am. I claim the promises of God. No other man has that authority over me and I give it to no one in Jesus' name. Be blessed. Define yourself before the world. You have the final say. And God is with you when you do good deeds. Do not fall into the trap to also start saying negative things because of what people have said about you. God is with you. You overcome in the name of Jesus. Amen. Be blessed. Hallelujah. Amen.